Hey guys, Uber Life NYC here, and I want to give you the rundown of the Mercedes Metris 2018. Now, this is under the VIA promotion, so you can get them to pay for the car for two weeks, and then you pay for the two weeks. So there's a one month obligation to drive um, this particular vehicle. Um, let me show you some things I do and don't like about the car and my take on just driving it. So let me show you a couple things. Okay guys, I have the engine running at the moment and as you see here on the dash, you know, you got your basics. You know, there's nothing really um, great about this vehicle as far as that goes. Um, all pretty basics. What is pretty cool is, you know, obviously you want to hit your four ways whenever you're picking someone up. But what's super cool is that you've got your open door on the left, your open door on the right, and automatic doors. You can even pause it, you know, and open it halfway if it's raining out or something. So, you know, blah, blah, or, you know, go ahead and close. That is pretty cool. Let's go back to the dash. I have the iPad mini. Um, this really seems to work with me because I have an iPhone. Um, it doesn't coordinate if you have, let's say, uh, some other type of tablet other than something that's not Apple because you can't call the customer and the customer can't call you. Um, so if you have Apple, stick with the Apples. If you have Samsung, stick with the uh, Samsung stuff. Nonetheless, so you got this, your basic controls of the heat and air. Um, the rear doesn't really work too well. Um, you can try to sync it. It blows back there no matter what. But no, nonetheless, you know, it's pretty cool. This is where I keep my phone when I'm driving. I keep it down here, down low. Something, you know, if I need to check something or check surges or other maps, I do it down here. But I use this one for, as my main. As you can see, um, it's surging in the city right now. But I use this for my navigation and everything. And what's nice is that the customer back behind me can see that as well. You know, um, I keep the sun visor thing here. Awesome, it's really cool. Anytime I wanna make notes, do stuff like that. Your view is pretty good out here, which is nice. Um, I've, I use the magnets for both this iPad and here, and I've got another one up here in case I wanna stick my phone up high if I'm taking a break and watching TV or something. Okay, so that's pretty much what that, you know, you got your basic glove box, your stuff. Um, this particular car, my knee hits right here when I'm driving. Also, something about the side of this thing um, sort of hurts my side as well. So I don't really feel comfortable driving this guy, but you know, it is what it is. And I try to, I guess if you did own it, you could um, do some things to improve this. Um, I think these cords could be black, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So this, that is sort of the, the dash uh, look and feel of it. Okay, this is a few of the view of the front. And as you see, as this pulls up, this looks pretty slick, you know? And as the automatic door comes up, when the people come by, you know, that's pretty cool. I think they like that. Um, on this side, the seat goes directly into it. Um, so the other side is more, it's better for people coming in and out and getting into the back. Now, these seats don't recline and they don't fold down. So that's just a note. Uh, about this vehicle if you watch other reviews on it but they um, have taken out the headrest both here both middle ones so you can sort of get a view out of the back but as you see you have that partition from the back doors which does make visibility out of the back a little bit difficult but you know you got to try to make the best of it I keep a little extra phone charger thing there but speaking about phone chargers I have this bad boy right here and he's got a three prong Super cool, anybody can charge these in the new eight, but this guy stretches, man. If you wanna go sit in the back seat, boom, the guy in the back, he's happy. So that's pretty cool. Um, Via put in their own floor mat, which is pretty cool. As I said, this was a promotion from Via, but I'm paying for it on my own now. So, because I'm not really riding or driving for Via. As you see, it's a little boxy, but it's not too tall which is nice. You know, it gets in and out of places pretty easy. I do find the front brakes squeak and sheds a lot of dust, but I recently cleaned it. So there you go. 
You've got plenty of room, you come in. It is comfortable back here, guys. And a lot of people are really happy about that much room. And what I find is I'm driving Uber X quite a lot. Based on the fact that XL, which I qualify for with this vehicle, just doesn't get that many calls. So here's the back. As you see, you got plenty of room. I've got some extra stuff that I usually keep up front, but pretty comfortable. So guys, sitting back here in the back seat, um, sometimes I take breaks and I'll come back here. Man, I can put my feet up. Having the extra room for an additional $50 a week, I think it's so worth it. Um, the customers are happy. My reviews are going really well with that. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but I think so, at least for a few extra weeks till another big job I have coming up. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me. Um, if guys, if you're thinking about driving for Via, um, email me and I'll send you the promo code and I will help you with any questions that you might have about the vehicle or about driving for Via, how it works, how the pay setup, stuff like that. So um, th don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, whichever. And um, as I always say, I'll see you on the road.